Well, good morning, guys. We are back for another day on the uh, driveway pad job. Good news. We missed the majority of the snow. We didn't even get a whole lot of rain, which is awesome because we're going to keep going. So what's on the agenda for today? That's a great question. We got a soft spot in the old existing driveway. First things first, we're going to try to get it addressed. Well, Mr. Bueno, you got a plan this morning? Absolutely. Let's hear it. I'm ready to hear it. I'm going to sit in the skid steer and let you fill the bucket up, and then I'm going to take it somewhere. <laughs> That's my plan. <laughs> All right. So this is the second half of the driveway. Where's the first half of the driveway? Is that the first half? I guess it depends on where you're coming or going. I was way. just going <laughs> to say, is the, the house the first half or not? So if you guys remember from the previous videos, we raised up and redid that whole section of the driveway over there. If you haven't seen those videos yet, go check them out. First couple uh, videos with the whole truck. This is the second half stretch that runs up to the house. Keep in mind all the work we're doing to this is they're hoping to possibly get this paved. They want to make sure all the subgrade and everything is uh, great. So. Right here, we have what is a known wet spot or soft spot. Can you guys kind of see how the road's caving off right there? So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dig this out till we find some decent dirt, throw some good rock in it, compact it and call it good. Nothing simple or nothing complicated. Pretty doggone simple operation. Thought about uh, throwing the dirt in the truck but we can't really get it where we need to with the truck because we need to go back behind the barn over there where we're gonna put a pipe in out later and the truck's got the new rock on it. So we're just gonna try to throw the dirt in the old skid steer bucket here and then let Matt pack it over there. We don't have a whole lot, maybe a truckload coming out of here. So let's get after it. I wanna see if I can save a little bit of gravel on top. I don't know if it's gonna be worth our time or not, but. Good dirt. Nothing? Nothing yet. Feel like we probably would have hit it by now if we were going to hit it. I think so. Oh man, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> that looked too bad down there, really. No, it's like it's running right against. Yeah, you're full. Go ahead and dump. I guess you gotta make more sense to just let Matt come in here and scoop that up out of the pile right there instead of me trying to dump it in his bucket each time. We're gonna make a mess no matter what. better dirt than I anticipated in here though. Which is good. Oh yeah, that's getting solid. We're almost on the rock right there. A little bit different scenario than what I anticipated. I anticipated having a bunch of that nasty subsoil down there and then getting into this dirt. But I think what has happened is we have a thin layer of good dirt on top of rock, which has got moisture in it, which what we probably ought to do is run a tile pipe out of here. But if we fill that hole full of rock, I think we can force that water to the top and go down the ditch. So honestly, this might be the best case scenario here. Uh, Matt, get him a scoop of, a scoop of dirt here. Oh yeah, that worked pretty good. Well, you know, 
Because <laughs> you don't lose it all going back the driveway. Now for the sake of not making a bigger mess than what we need to, I'm going to cave these sides in while he's going. That way next time he comes back it won't continue to uh, bleed his way out into the yard there. Back up a little bit farther here. This system seems to be working out pretty good for Matt. Just kind of keep it ridged up there in the center of the road. He can push up against the uh, blade to get it loaded. He's still trying to figure out quite the angle of the old uh, work brow bucket there, but he's getting the, getting the hang of it. Not making too big a mess down there on the road, so that's working out nice. This over here dug out really well. Honestly, I was kind of surprised how good a dirt we found down there. It's not that uh, bad at all. If you guys look, kind of show you here a little bit this here is some pretty good stuff but if it gets wet it gets a little bit squishy most of our issue was right here in this top little layer so by the time we come back here and get what's going to be close to uh 12 to 16 inches of 53s in here and get those compacted this really should uh stiffen up this one issue here the other option we could do is uh put a tile in here and run it out over the hill but you really don't want a wet spot there the woods is not quite the property line and going that way we got across a lot of utilities so he was all right with just getting some good rock packed in here which what that should do is kind of build a dam right here force that water to the top of course the road's going to be higher than this and uh, naturally force it down that ditch so it'd be different if this was a commercial road being a residential road pretty confident with what the plan we got here is you guys can kind of see it uh drains on down around then it goes underneath the uh road right there so while Matt finishes uh, packing off the dirt, I'm going to go get the truck back in here. We'll get it dumped and get it spread out. Get it compacted and get the road open back up because they're needing out. I was telling Mr. Millennial about my adventure. Saturday, We uh, it got cold. What was it down? Like 15 degrees here Saturday? That's without counting the wind chill. <laughs> so I, I think I may have a clip or two I'll insert here in a minute. Uh, works a lot was filming with his phone i was in a hurry so i didn't have a camera with me but long story short we hauled the haul truck out of here friday today's monday in case you guys are wondering it got down to 15 degrees on saturday i need my low boy trailer and apparently it still has florida fuel in it so it was all gelled up so it started right up but then it died and then it wouldn't restart because the fuel was froze and i had to have my trailer so a combination of yanking with the loader and then just Let's just say the parking brake on the old truck works really well. You know what the crazy part is? Parking brake works great. Fuel gelled up because it was 15 degrees, not counting wind chill. It did start though. And it's 65 Oh no, it's 65 now. and so <laughs> Anyways, long story short, it was quite entertaining, but we got her done. So what do you think, Mr. Millennial? Is this little project going to work out? I think it's going to be pretty f just fine. What do you think? I think that's going to work great, but you need to do some trickery with your truck. What's that? You need to get down in the hole so it only comes out of one corner and we don't have to do as much work with the bucket. Can you handle oh it? Oh, my goodness. Huh? Huh? Let's, uh, let's get this little bit of stuff in here so we ain't got to worry about it. Clean it up later. And then uh, I'm going to go get the truck and 
So you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell you to do some trickery. You only want the just trickery. trickery. You only want the, the rock to come out one side of the bed. Yeah, here's the other word. You can automatically get the rock to come out one corner. <laughs> Are you creating a whole new dictionary this morning? I am. All right, here we go. If I turn the truck over, it's your fault. No, you're the driver. <laughs> He's doing it. Challenge accepted. front duels get up on that pile of rock As you guys can see, he's at a pretty, pretty steep kilter there. That's gonna get us pretty close. Oh, he's gonna have to hit her a little harder than that. Well, you might put that bed down there, Mikey boy. Or not. Oh gosh, that stuff, that stuff makes me nervous. Obviously doesn't bother him a bit. I bet you that truck's in there going beep, 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 beep. <laughs> tip alarm, tip alarm. Hold on, I gotta check something. What? Nope, there's not a hole in the seat. You must not have been too nervous. <laughs> that wasn't bad at all. Huh? Wasn't bad at all. You should have seen it from the backside. <laughs> and compact and all at once. Yeah, you did. You gotta know your limits there, bud. Oh, I told him. I said, I bet you that truck's in there going beep, 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 tip alarm, yeah, it tip was, alarm. It wasn't
I think that's looking pretty good. I think we're on the right track here. What do you think? I agree. I think we need one more load of rock. Yeah, I need one more load of rock to kind of tie this in right here. That's got some creek rock on. It's pretty solid, but we just need to ease that transition. I got one spot out there that needs about a half load. So I'm going to go get another load of rock. We'll come back and spread it out here. Then we'll put the grader attachment on this thing and fine tune everything. Matt's going to go after a couple pipes because our next project is to put some pipes in that ditch back here behind the barn. So I guess I will see you here in a minute. Load number two of rock. I got the old loader out today. Said something out there doing a $2,500 service on the new cat. So I don't think Casey's a big fan of this one. I told him it's better than a shovel. I don't know if you guys can read that sign. I'm legal up to 48,000. He's got me at 47,720. Not too shabby. All right, get my seatbelt on. We'll head back up there and get this spread. So here's the plan, guys. You can see right here, we got this a little bit of a rut, a little bit of an indention. We're a little bit of light on stone. Whenever Chris was coming in here the other day, he was spreading up there and he would, a couple of the loads he ran out before he got right here to the very end. So from about 20 feet in front of the truck to about right here we're just a little bit shy on stone so the goal is is to get half that stone right here put the bed back down drive around and put the other half the stone in the soft spot which is just right there around the curve and hopefully if we can do this right we should be good on stone after that so i'm not near as good of uh spreading rock as what chris is but we're going to give it our best go and see what happens here first thing we need to do I know for a fact is uh, set the uh, chains on the tailgate. That would be bad if we just dumped her all out in the pile. But for the most part, driveway is definitely uh, holding up pretty nice coming in here. I think it's going to be going to be pretty good when it's all said and done. So let me get these let me get these chains set. And we'll give this a go and see what happens. guys i'm uh, fairly happy with that maybe a little bit heavy right there in the center but that'll work out just fine we'll get that grader attached on there we'll bust it out see what the other one looks like over here not bad not bad at all the rock is definitely in the right place so 
believe that's going to be a winner. We'll let Matt get in with the uh, truck. He's got the pipe on it. We'll probably get that pipe put in first and we'll come back and grade this out. I wish Millennial thought this with this whole job started like a month ago. <laughs> exactly right here, actually. <laughs> back to this ditch. Yeah. So there's been many different discussions on what to do with this thing. The ideal plan was is just to seed it, leave it a grass waterway, and uh, hope it would hold. But I'm uh, pretty confident that is not going to do the trick. The next choice would be to pipe it from there and down to there. But that black pipe is not that cheap anymore. No. So I think what we decided to do, the ultimate goal is, is now that he's adding on to that side of the barn, he can't get access back here unless he crosses this ditch. Because before he was coming around the barn that way. So I think what we're going to do is we're basically going to put 40 feet of pipe in here. That'll give him access across there. We're going to leave a little bit open on this end, a little bit open on that end. Try to use these rocks as a little bit of a decorative manner to uh, pretty it up here a little bit. And uh, see what happens. All right, I really got to be careful about what I'm doing here because I'm working right underneath that power line. All right, so what my concern is, I'd like to dig some of this wetter, soupier mud out of here. Put that pipe down in there. I'd like for that pipe to be on a little bit of a decent foundation. We don't have to worry about it eroding or floating or losing pitch or any of that crazy stuff. So I'm gonna dig, I'm gonna dig a little bit of this mud out of here. We're gonna come back with some of this better dirt in there. Back out in there a little bit, hopefully that'll make it, uh, we can hold great pretty good right there on that. Hold great pretty good right there on that pipe. I'd feel a lot better about it if we could, let's put it that way. All right, Mr. Millennial, this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna take those rocks, basically build a little entrance into the pipe. That's dangerous, by the way. Obviously, we'll connect these two pipes together. Oh, let's just leave them side by side. <laughs> I don't think they'll work that way. But down here, you think we can utilize them pieces of concrete we tore out? Think about just kind of digging that out flat, laying that big piece of concrete down underneath that pipe and just let it kind of run out on that. I think as long as you come under the pipe, they'll work great. Um, well, we uh, well, we kind of catch our mark. They're lined up up here with home. This is an official mark right here. He, this is this. It's official. Let me uh. Now it's official. <laughs> yeah, yours is about as official as mine. That's why I did it. Okay, let me uh, let me kind of dig that out a little bit. We'll go ahead and lay that one in there. Put this on top of it. See what it looks like, and we'll work our way up. Mike's gonna dig in banks back so we can fit the concrete. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna measure. We wanna use the biggest pad. So we need to get him a length and a width. Looks like our length is gonna be basically 12 feet. Oh, come on, tape measure. Then our width, well, this tape measure 
Don't buy one of these junk things. Six feet. Now we'll go down here, make sure he's wide enough. Six by 12, Mike. You've got the width. Let's see, get him a mark where he needs to go lengthwise. Tape measures in dirt, especially when they're flimsy tape measures, don't work too well. So right there's our 12 foot mark. You gotta go about two feet past your track. Go down here and get him another mark. We were right here. That's your 12 foot mark. I think the ultimate plan is to put the big one down first and then the little bit smaller one below it to where the smaller one sits underneath the bigger one so the water runs down, falls, and keeps running. Yes. I think your, your left corner needs to go down a little. Just right here. From that root to the corner. So how are we gonna prove who's right? <laughs> here we go with the laser argument again. We're gonna set the laser up. What are you arguing with I'm me? I'm sticking with my guns. What are you arguing with me? The left side that's smooth is taller than the right side that's fluffy. No, it's I'll not. I'll set the laser up. It's not. Don't lose that tape measure. It's not. You're wasting our time! Yep. I don't know why he argues with me. All right, well, Matt's going and getting the laser set up to try to prove a point. Let's see if we can get that big piece of concrete out from the bottom. I can drag these off the top. I got them all out of there the other day without busting them up. Hopefully we can get them the hole without busting the up. Oh, she's still in one piece. That's a good sign. Come on, baby. Hey, easy. I really don't want to bust that big one at this point. We've worked so hard to save it. Come on. Twist her off there. There we go. Move this one out of the way. I should be able to roll that one. Just enough I can grab it with the thumb. There we go. Alright, see this man's got. It's within a half inch. I, it's still higher. It's, it's still within higher a half right. inch. Oh my God. <laughs> pull, pull that U scope. So in. worth setting the laser up to <laughs> for a half inch. For a half you know what I'm? Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do this? Hopefully, we put the concrete in it. We'll smash the head. Nothing. Out of it. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, that's you get the laser set up. You might as well check the top too.
All right, we gotta double check the top. We gotta see if I can get her in there. What do you think the top is? I have no idea on the top. I didn't pack less tension. <laughs> I think that's like just a hair lower, but I, it's not far. Yeah, we may actually put just a touch of dirt right in there. Or just take a little out Or take a little bit out over there. It's close. We'll keep our pad as flat as we can, to be honest. That way the water will kind of disperse on and not The go. only thing that matters is the proven point is the side I chose that was higher is definitely higher than the size that It's not the couple inches you, you said it was. <laughs> Sweet Jesus. Are All we right. done with laser now? Yeah, we're done with well, laser. If you got it set up, you might as well leave it there until I get that top out. All right, we're gonna make one minor little adjustment here. I'll probably get it, don't you? That's pretty darn good. All right, let's set a pad in there. Concrete pad number one. Might be the only one we do. We're gonna see how, if we're comfortable with how close this is to the woods or if we think we wanna go with two. Now we just hope he doesn't break it this time. Came out of there without breaking it. Hopefully he can get it down in the hole without breaking it. Ooh, so far so good. Don't hit the laser! I did. Giving you more challenges today there, bud. Now what are you gonna do? I like saying that to him, acting like I know that he can't handle it. Gets in his head. Yeah, you can actually come to you right there. Oh, got to push it back that way now. So what we're going for isn't this pipe. It's actually the center of that pipe, which is over about 18 inches. So he doesn't have to move it much. Right here is where that pipe's gonna be. It only needs a couple of feet. That's pretty darn good. It's not this pipe you're centering off of, it's that one. You might kick that bottom in that way just a little. That'll get it. Now come to me about a foot. Because your mark's actually right at the base of this, right? Now to dig some more. Hey, can you rotate that 360 degrees? Well, we wasn't broken enough underneath there, don't we? You didn't even catch it. 
what I say? Rotate it how many degrees? <laughs> yep. So the trick to this guy is Mike left that top pad higher. He's hoping to shove it up underneath of it. Yeah. You've got it underneath of it about four inches and you're gonna pull it down 12, so that'll get it. Yeah. Let me get that pipe out of your way and- I'll get that pipe out of my way and I'm gonna go down there and take the blade and chalk it and I'll pull it towards it. It's on. All right, I'm gonna try to take the blade and kind of hold that. While I take this pad, and slide it towards me. Can you guys even see out there? Is that better? Slide that down a little bit. Slide this over a little bit. Oh, that was almost too much. I don't think it is, but by the time I pull it back, I think it's gonna be about right. That is perfect right there. That looks really good. <clears throat> Here's the plan. That side over there is just a little bit low. I don't want to take track home and start beating on it because I'm afraid we'll bust that pad. What I'm going to do is try to take the bucket, work a little bit of dirt up underneath this side over here. Is it up, Eddie? Look like it did. I can check it. It's pretty close. Of an <laughs> we're we're, we're leaving out alone. All right. <laughs> we're gonna throw a little bit of dirt in up on the top side. Go ahead and get that laser out of here. Okay. And we'll get that pipe in. Well, Mr. Millennial, I think this is gonna work pretty good. I say, uh, hold that about right there. Let's, um, Let's get a little bit of dirt on top of this pipe to hold it in place and we'll shove that other one down too. What do you think? Alright, pipe seems to fit pretty well. I'm going to grab a little bit of dirt. Put it right here on the center of the pipe. And that's gonna, we're going to put just a slight bend in that thing to get it to line up the way we need it to on both ends. Hold that bottom end over. Yep. You ready? Yep. Still like it? Like it. Let's get the other, 
let's get the other pipe in then uh, we'll figure it out from there right there's home That's good. That worked out really well. I want to put that dirt back a little bit from the end so I got room to get them rocks in there later. Probably got stayed down there back there by that rock and it just faded out, right? Yeah. I want them power lines up there yeah. too. Good? Yeah. just got back from lunch here's what we're gonna try to do we got all these rocks we dug out of the bank over here I like to build a nice little catch basin in front of this uh, pipe here this time I tell you what Set these uh, rocks over here so I kind of sort through them and see what I got. That well, looks like a great big old arrow here. Tell you what. what that one looks like. That other one would fit better on the bottom. Let me put this one up here on the top. What do you guys think? Look too shabby, does it? No, it looks 
looks pretty darn good. I'll fill in the gaps with these here. Yeah, homeowner had some of this random rock he's picked up out of the yard over the years. We get that uh, tucked up in there nice and neat. Should kind of finish everything off. I like it. All right, I'm gonna let you stack rocks. I'm gonna go down there on the other end and finish up around those, uh, finish up around that concrete. How much rocks over there? Um, to not make it look like we took a bunch of rock, that's about all we can get. There's several more, but it starts to make his landscape look totally different. So I think they're all available to use. So okay. the other thing we can do is maybe pack a couple uh, buckets of that riprap up there and put on each side of that pad, yeah. just to kind of keep it from getting too carried away. Probably a good idea. So. All right, let me work on that while you're working on this. Then we'll take the dozer and push dirt up to the back side of this. Should have that in pretty good shape. All right, I think what my goal is here, guys, I'm gonna pull just enough of this dirt back away from this concrete. And I can eventually get down in here with the nose and run up on the side of it. You gotta watch, I'm not gonna get that power line. We'll use some of this dirt. Gotta fill in that up there to make that passable. Eventually we'll finish this off with the dozer. Pretty good because we need to gain some dirt for up here, which we're able to do. And we get this ditch opened up down here. That's got that looking good. He went to go get just a few more rocks to put in there to kind of finish that off. And uh, that should have a good We'll kind of shove some dirt up against that. I think I'm going to hop on the dozer. I got this pulled back as much as I could with the excavator. I'm going to hop on the dozer and just kind of come up each side of this uh, concrete we got set in there. Just kind of lay the bank, banks back so it's nice and flat. And uh, man, I think this is gonna work pretty good. This millennial, I think that's gonna work. You ready for some rock? I'd say put a little bit of rock down each edge, maybe a little rock there on the end. 
a little bit extra around the pipe. I'm gonna take the dozer, blend this all in. We'll get her cleaned up and see what happens. down there that riprap basin turned out awesome this blended in i mean just sweet one little bit of extra dirt i had i kind of piled up here on the corner i'm going to take the uh track i was swinging around and try to face the front of this slope over here it's a little bit tight this is eventually going to get uh landscaped and riprap i want to get just enough dirt on here to kind of hold it for now so a couple of buckets around there slope this thing in and we're gonna call it so let me get this done i'll show you the finished product oh guys here's where we're gonna leave it at at the end of the day i think it turned out absolutely awesome got a little catch basin built here hopefully we'll be able to get some decent grass in this this is about the same slope as what that is right there and that's held really well over the years matt actually hit the hillside here one time with a pyrex this evening Kind of letting that sun back on to dry it out because the ultimate goal tomorrow would be to come in here break this out polish off of the uh, few rough edges yet and then get this thing seated and strolled and we will be out of here but here's the other end i think this is pretty doggone pretty doggone cool for what we had to uh work with got a little bit of riprap in there we got our concrete down on the bottom pipe coming out it is offset to this side a little bit believe it or not that pad slightly sloping this way that pad slightly sloping that way so i think the water's got a pretty good chance of staying on the pad use what busted up concrete and rock we had to go up around the uh upper side he's talking about letting the woods kind of grow up to about where we're standing at here so long story short that's probably not going to be seen when it's all said and done as more for function than look as far as the pad goes up here got a little bit of topsoil uh thrown up around it Work this backside in with the excavator over here. I don't know if I can get the pyrex in there to uh, do much good. You got it stabilized a little bit, so I think that's a good day's work, guys. We're gonna call it right there. Tomorrow we'll be back. Hopefully, uh, seed and straw, ruckus rake, get this done, and we are out of here. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give her a big old thumbs up. Don't want to miss the rest. Consider subscribing. That way, we can catch you guys on the next one. Later.